Hey guys, here now this side and welcome to Gate Conqueror YouTube channel. See here, the purpose of this discussion at the, at the end conclusions will be three. First thing is resistance. Is it lossy property? Because in our machines or power systems, transmission lines, wherever we get losses, we are going to represent with resistance. Does it mean that resistance is lossy property? No, no, no. Resistance is the most useful property in our entire electrical engineering. First thing, you are going to get the conclusions here. And second thing is, uh, about one year's interview question, uh, you know I know Ohm's law, V is directly proportional to I. If voltage is increased, current will be increased, right? But in transmission line, if you increase voltage, current will be reduced. Does it mean that it is not accepting Ohm's law? Second thing. And third thing is, means uh, in resistance, in the property, in the material, at atomic level, how heat energy is being generated? Okay, it is going to absorb electrical energy and resistor is going to generate electrical, sorry, it is going to absorb electrical energy and it is going to deliver heat energy resistor, not resistance, resistor. Okay, anyway, before going further, let me share my details. I'm Gain Rao and by GATE 2021, I completed uh, 20 years of uh, training GATE students and I worked in the best in issues only previously, kind of uh, made easy work, days I worked prior to that Vani and prior to that engineering with many issues. And uh, the subjects, I'm planning to take machines and networks and uh, in future I may add power systems also. Now coming to the point, uh, if you use my code KNR10, automatically I'll get notified. Automatically you will come under my guidance. And there are uh, two kinds of uh, paid platforms in an academy. One is PLUS and another one is uh, Iconic. In PLUS you are going to get live lectures live lectures, crash courses and kind of weekly test, doubt solving will be there, rank improvement will be there and uh, some guys are asking me in this particular channel, this particular channel will it be like entertaining Hindi lectures also, no, means our channel is meant purely for English, okay, anyway in an academy app uh, you are going to get both lectures English and Hindi, now if you think of uh, iconic subscription which is super set, which is bigger, whatever you are going to get in place, same thing you are going to get here also and you are going to get personal coach who will guide you, uh, achiever, he is an achiever and who is at your age, age range, okay. So he can guide you properly whenever you are demotivated or not, he can uh, plan your study plan, he can give and uh, personalized test analysis can be provided along with that, the brochure sessions will be there and study meters also will be there. And if you use my code KMR10, for 12 months description, uh, sorry, for 12 months you are going to get for 27,225 subscription. And for 18 months, 34,650. And for 24 months, it is going to be 39,600. And if you think of uh, iconic subscription, again, if you use my if you use my code, you are going to get 10% discount. And you will come under my personal guidance. And it is going to be 40,500 uh, 40, for 12 months. And it is going to be 54,000 for 24 months. And they thought of increasing fee structure from July 1st onwards, but they postponed after huge demand from students. At any point of time, they can uh, increase the fee structure and we don't have that much great time also for K. It means hardly seven, eight months. We have to practice. We have to start our sessions very soon. Try to subscribe soon. And here there are uh, two batches. Laksha batch will be there and Arohan batch will be there. Laksha batch is meant for GATE and ESC 2022 or Arohan batch is meant for GATE and ESC 2023. Obviously, topmost educators are, means uh, as of now in India, best educators are working with an academy, I can say. Antip Goyal Suresh sir, Devi Reddy sir, like Varun Sivastav sir, most of them like I work with them sometime back. And for uh, EC also lecture batch, this batch and all are very prominent faculties, right, uh, Vishnu sir. And this is about test series, they are providing some free test series also and uh, paid platform test series also. Obviously if you take plus test series it would be good. And uh, this coming Sunday. They are, uh, uh, what do you say, they are going to maintain four core scholarships on combat. First, uh, top three guys are going to get free subscription for one year. And uh, remaining guys also will get some kind of description, okay. And here, people are going to get 500 lucky winners are going to get iPads, kind of, okay. And uh, yeah, we'll watch this and all. Now, if you want uh, to follow me, Follow me at uh, KNRAW for you, number for you in an academy, such that whenever I come to live, either it in uh, plus subscription or it can be 
uh, you free classes like uh, special classes in an academic platform you will get the notification so kindly follow me yes now in our previous session we already completed active let us think of passive okay let us think of passive now let us try to define passive elements once the active elements is defined why to define passive elements because in active elements what is the definition of active properties which can which is having the ability to deliver average positive electrical energy from t tending to minus infinity to plus infinity see here active property which can or which is having the ability to deliver average positive positive okay what about zero because we have energy storage elements okay like inductance capacitance all you know the moment energy storage elements if you give one joule of energy now and tomorrow if you take same one joule of electrical energy electrical, electrical energy you are giving today and tomorrow you are going to take same electrical energy okay what is the net amount of electrical energy delivered or absorbed by this is going to be zero now zero and the electrical energy only we have given electrical energy only we have taken so net electrical energy given by that is going to be zero that zero is included in passive elements okay active means average positive here average positive or zero he absorbs energy okay what is passive element now which absorbs which absorbs zero or uh, sorry zero or positive average electrical energy from t tending to minus infinite to plus infinite okay see here in passive we have uh, inductance we have capacitance energy storage elements and we have mutual inductance of course inductance can be extended to mutual inductance but mutual inductance for our electrical engineering we have specific what do you say rule okay specific position we have because uh, in network theory we have magnetically coupled networks and also transformer mutual inductance and we have resistance And resistance is the only power absorbing element. Let us start. Okay. Resistance. Meaning that we are supposed to learn about Ohm's law. Okay. You may think that Ohm's law, you know, but uh, kind of we have to answer some kind of interview questions and all, right? Now, what is Ohm's law? Before starting about Ohm's law, let us try to understand about electrical conductor and insulator. Okay. If I have center nucleus and uh, kind of uh, all electrons will be rotating around it okay now by doing something by doing something if you can bring these valence electrons outward meaning that it's electrical conductor okay now whatever you do whatever you do these valence electrons are tightly bonded to the nucleus such that these valence electrons you cannot bring them out insulators okay now in conductors because ohm's law is defined for conductors only not for insulators or semiconductors okay now these particular valence electrons in a electrical conductor you can bring out because these valence electrons are very loosely bonded to the nucleus very loosely bonded to the nucleus okay now coming to the point maybe let me think of some copper the atomic number of 29 okay now see here everywhere like uh, we are going to have nucleuses and if you think of valence electron the 29th electron the 29th electron valence electron will be there no that particular 29th electron already will be out of the orbit only it will not be attached to the nucleus at all so those valence electrons that 29th electron will can travel like this okay so when that 29th electron is moving from here to here okay to the top can't it have electrical current no no because here downward or whatever will be the electrons going from left to right the same number of electrons will be coming from right to left such that over the cross section if you see you don't get any electrical current and this is called as without without having anything okay this is called as thermal velocity because we have to know this if you think of thermal velocity because drift velocity only we are going to consider okay that thermal velocity will be in the range of million meters per second 
okay so in the range of 1 into 10 to the power of 9 meters per second every time it will be the thermal velocity it will be vibrating okay and if you think of nucleus also depending upon the temperature if it is at 25 degrees or if it is at 40 degrees or if it is at 100 degrees thermal agitation will be there in for this also now the moment you have these valence electrons okay if you activate this for example if you heat if you increase the temperature of this particular material what will happen automatically more vibrations will be there for this agitation will be there for the nucleus ions okay now if i think of uh, applying some sunlight light energy also these vibrations will become more okay and if you apply electrical field for example if i apply some electric electrical field here okay if i apply some huge electrical field here so it's not just a huge electrical field here it means a very big charge here then what will happen the moment positive charge is there electrical field will be in this direction divergent field right already we discussed already we know actually because our dna know that now the moment it is going to be divergent field against to the field because positive negative attractions will be there so definitely these these particular electrons valence electrons try to travel try to accelerate this particular valence electron because of this attraction will try to accelerate okay but net acceleration will not be it cannot be accelerated from here to here of course close it what i'm assuming i'm going to close what i'm assuming it's kind of if i connect one battery here electrical field is equivalent to if i kind of if i connect electron should travel here kind of if i connect one battery here what is going to happen let's see means kind of equal to this then the moment i have uh, electrical charge here electrical field intensity depending on the magnitude of intensity these electrons will be accelerated but net acceleration from here to here will not be there because meanwhile it can hit the positive ions okay now the, there is a kind of uh, elastic collision inelastic collision okay under normal state also without connecting this blue normal elastic collisions will be there elastic collisions in the sense kinetic energy transfer may happen but net energy will become uh, net energy variation is going to become zero okay but the moment this electron hit this positive ion positive ion then what is going to happen it is going to be inelastic collision we say in physics forget about it we need not go much into material science or physics so the moment i hit that our electron hit that this particular kinetic energy will be transferred to this particular ion and that by completely completely then what will happen already with the thermal agitation okay it is vibrating it is vibrating thermal vibration because of this extra kinetic energy it is going to vibrate more and then this particular electron this particular electron loses its kinetic energy again electric field is there no again electric field is there no again it start accelerating again it may hit this Again, that particular electron may hit that positive ion, then again it is going to lose kinetic energy. Lose kinetic energy. The moment it loses kinetic energy, this particular uh, what they say positive ion will vibrate, agitate with more amplitude, more magnitude. Then again it is going to lose its kinetic energy. That's why again after that it may accelerate again towards this. Getting my point, right? Now, point here is the moment it's inelastic collision. The moment it is converted into more thermal vibrations, temperature of this particular material is going to be increased. Now, if you see the drift velocity, because slowly, slowly it has to move. No, if you see the drift velocity, drift velocity is going. Actually, our uh, Ohm's law or whatever it may be is meant for drift velocity of electrons only it is not for thermal velocity now the moment if you see drift velocity it is going to be fraction of fraction of mm per second in the range of now anyway conclusion is very simple in the internal structure whatever the kinetic energy it is going to be attained because of electric field that will be transferred to the ion such that thermal agitation will be more because of that temperature rise will be more temperature even the same kind of stuff will happen for example if i take one copper wire 
and if I keep on heat that, if I keep on increase the temperature, depending upon the after absorption of the temperature, same situation is going to happen. Thermal agitation or magnitude of that thermal vibration is going to be more. Okay, the moment thermal vibration is more, or magnitude of that variation is more, automatically temperature will come. That is basic. Forget about it. Now, anyway, it is delivering some kind of heat energy, meaning that it should have absorbed electrical energy. Because energy can be transformed from one, what do you say, area to another area, one form to another form, but we can neither create or not destroy energy. That is conservative field. Anyway, the moment it, uh, it is delivering my thermal energy, means my electrical energy will be absorbed. This is the system. Now, let us see Ohm's law in point form. Okay, now see here, if I increase this magnitude, if I increase this Q magnitude, automatically attraction will be more and the acceleration will be more. Okay, or Q is nothing but electric field intensity. If I increase electric field intensity, my current density, drift velocity, because of the drift, okay, because of the drift, my what do you say, speed or accelerated or kind of current density will be more. Okay, see here, if I increase E, electric field intensity, down the other side, current density is going to become more and directly E is nothing but directly proportional to J. J is nothing but current density. Current density. Okay. Now, R directly I can say J equal to sigma E. To derive this also in physics, some more formulas will be there. We need not bother about that. J equal to sigma E. E is going to be electric field intensity. Electric field intensity in volts per meter. Okay. Now J E will be in amperes per meter square. Okay. And sigma is going to be Siemens or Mohs. Siemens per meter. And E is going to be volts per meter. Okay. Norm normally I love to play with uh, dimensions. Okay. See here. This is this can be converted into ampere current I. This is anyway Siemens, meaning that conductivity. Right, put it in there. Now, see here, I love to play with dimensions, right? Anyway, J amperes per meter square, and this is going to be Siemens per meter or Mohs per meter and electric field intensity volts per meter. Now meter square meter square that is nothing but ohm's law okay so what is ohm's law now directly j equal to sigma e is called as ohm's law in point form ohm's law in point form ohm's law in point form and see yes most or most divide one way inverse is going to become ohms and v i so this one to be i for this year, let me use small case letters i equal to v by r. Means inverse r v equal to r i. r v equal to r i. And in uh, some interviews, it's funny, but they ask, uh, they'll ask you v equal to r i or i r. Because in our machines and all, multiple times we say that i r drop, i square r loss, or some kind of stuff. So though we say in machines i r drop, but specifically, if anyone asks you, tell V equal to R I only. Okay, specifically they ask. Because this is proportionality constant. This is proportionality constant. For example, if I think of uh, uh, what they say voltage across inductance, we call it as L di by dt. Because this is constant. Always constant should be ahead. But that is the notation. So if anyone asks you V equal to R I or I R specifically, we tell V equal to R I. Okay, now coming to the point, this is voltage and it is absorbing, it is absorbing power, right? It is absorbing electrical power which is being converted into heat energy. Now, resistance is the only property because we are coming to the another point. What is happening inside the resistance already we know. Now, resistance is it lossy element or power absorbing element? There is a difference, there is a difference. Okay, power absorbing element 
meaning that it may absorb electrical power, it may convert that electrical power into another form of power which can be used by you. That is useful. Okay. Or means uh, the same kind of element can absorb electrical form of power which will be converted into heat energy that can be lost. Getting my point, right? So directly we cannot say resistance is lossy. For example, if you have some motor, okay, what that motor will do, that motor will take the electrical form of energy which will be converted into mechanical form of energy irreversibly. Means from mechanical you cannot get back electrically again. Okay. Now, in order to model, for example, that particular motor, okay, that particular induction motor or whatever it may be, that particular motor, for example, it is absorbing 100 watts of electrical power. That electrical power is being uh, converted into mechanical form of power, 100 watt, means under lossless conditions, 100 watt. With that 100 watt, you are lifting water from the ground. You are lifting water from the ground. Now, whatever the power absorbed by that particular motor, is it useful for you or not? Yes, it is definitely useful. Okay, maybe here lights are there. What these particular lights are doing, they are taking electrical form of energy and they are converting into light energy. Again, it's useful. It's useful. Now, let me think of your, uh, maybe at your home, water heater will be there, no? water heater, geyser, whatever it may be. Water heater, if you switch on, that particular thing is going to absorb electrical form of power, which will be converted into heat energy. Again, it's useful or not? Yes. How can you say that resistance is lossy property? Okay, because in your uh, water heater at your home, it is actually taking electrical form of energy and actually it is converting into heat energy only. So inside resistor only will be there. Okay, I'll tell you the difference between resistor and resistance. If you think of resistor also, that resistor may take electrical form of energy, may convert that into uh, heat energy that can be utilized by you. No? That can be utilized by you. In that case, can you say what are going to be the power absorbed by the water heater at your home? Lassi. Oh. And in our India, not only in our India, a complete world, so many gigawatts of power. Okay. So gigajoules of energy, this much of huge energy is being developed for whom? In order to be absorbed by our uh, customer utilities. Right. So that your customer utility can be ceiling fan, your customer utility can be lamp, or your customer utility can be induction motor, or whatever it may be. Okay, ultimately we are producing this much amount of huge energy to be consumed by consumer. No? Now how consumer is going to consume, he is going to take electrical form of power which will be converted into mechanical energy in your ceiling fan, which will be converted into, yeah, sorry, what is this, light energy in case of your lamp and we are enjoying the comforts. No? So power absorbed by our utilities cannot be called as lossy. Okay, utilities, forget about it. The, my utilities are going to take electrical form of energy which will be converted into non-electrical form irreversibly. Because some light cycle, for example, this particular lamp is there. This lamp is taking electrical form of energy which is being converted into light form of energy. From this light, can I get back electrical form of energy? No, 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 irreversibly. Now, in our entire network, we have basic properties, right? Already, uh, what they say, active elements are there. Active elements are, uh, can deliver. Forget about it. Now, let us think of passive elements. If you think of inductance, capacitance, mutual inductance, these three are energy storage elements. Energy storage elements. So, whatever the energy they are going to take, it will give you back the same, reversible. But resistance is the only one property which can absorb electrical form of energy, which can be converted into non-electrical form, not heat. Okay. If you think of practical resistor, that's what uh, we should understand properly. Resistor is different, resistance is different. Now, resistance, if you think of, resistance, if you think of, which is going to take electrical form of energy into non-electrical form only, we can say. Now, that non-electrical form can be light here or can be ceiling fan or can be your induction motor or whatever with the motor. Okay, electrical to non-electrical because the moment, for example, if I say resistance is meant for electrical to heat only, heat only because resistor is doing that. Now, in order to consider electrical to mechanical, which element we have to consider? Resistance only. So, resistance is not at all lossy. Resistance is the most useful because by having resistance only, by having resistance only, we can absorb electrical power. In the sense, all of our customers' utilities 
or utility companies we can say all of our customer utilities should be modeled with resistance that's why in induction motor also in order to model output okay resistance has to come some virtual resistance we say whatever the resistance is being absorbed by that resistance will be converted into mechanical form we say okay so point here is very uh, very simple never ever feel that resistance is lasting no 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 now let us think of resistor physical resistor Phys because this is property physical resistor you can consider which will transfer electrical form of energy to heat energy heat energy now can i say this has loss e no 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 because you have water heater at your home you have water heater at, at your home that particular water heater is going to absorb electrical form of energy which will be converted into heat energy but it is not lossy because that hot water you are enjoying which is increasing your comfort okay again resistor also we cannot call that as lossy but what is meant by loss what is meant by lossy okay i'll tell you uh, for example in any electrical system losses in the sense some electrical energy is being converted into some other form which is becoming useless for you right let me tell you i have one transformer just let just let this is called as transformer transformer now on this transformer because of losses okay because of losses just uh, let me think in this way then it will go to your mind straight away now because of losses because of losses temperature of this is increased to 85 degrees centigrade now in transformer that particular related means uh, whatever may be the energy which is uh, converted from electrical to heat energy we are calling it as losses because that particular heat energy you are unable to utilize you are unable to utilize that that's why you are saying that for example just like that if you take one bucket of water not in plastic okay not plastic bottle maybe metal bottle, metal uh, bucket if you keep that bucket on top of it and after that once it is heated if you take it take the water and if you enjoy the bath then can you say it is lossy no 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 so what is meant by loss what is meant by loss is the electrical energy which is being converted into another form which you are unable to utilize that's your incapability that's it i say if you are unable to utilize you are unable to keep your uh, water bucket here you are unable to utilize your water bucket here that's why you are feeling that it's a loss but whenever loss happened that's your incapability because yes we have to accept that's our incapability we are unable to utilize the particular uh, heat form of power or heat form of energy okay so resistor is very simple here if any form of energy okay from electrical to any form of energy if you are enjoying that if you are utilizing that it's not lossy if you are unable to utilize that it's going to become loss so don't blame resistance don't blame resistance okay now the next point is going to be ac entry portion right now see here if i think of this as transmission line if i think of this as transmission line because in that the asking the question only is some why is there okay see here if i think of resistance resistance obviously voltage should be there because it is absorbing electric form of power irreversibly and it is absorbing meaning that compulsorily current should be entering into positive compulsory current entry entering should be positive then power absorbed by element by resistance power absorbed by resistance is going to be v into i obviously it should be positive because it is actually consuming electrical form of energy which can be converted into heat energy or which can be converted to mechanical energy or which can be converted into light energy right right now means in this power absorbed what does it mean v i or if you think of ohm's law for this ohm's law for this v is directly proportional to i provided provided voltage v should be across the resistance and current i should be flowing through that resistance through that resistance forget about it coming to here now if i raise my voltage levels from 11 kv to 33 kv or 66 kv if i increase my voltage levels from 11 kv to 33 kv means current is going to be reduced or not yes because voltage is increased constant power at the output so current will be reduced then if you increase voltage current is going to be reduced 
Does it mean that Ohm's law is not accepted here? No, no, Ohm's law has to be accepted because Ohm's law is defined for conductors. And is this transmission line is conductor or not? Yes. Our thinking in the some flaw is there in our thinking only. Now, see here. If you increase voltage, if you increase voltage, line to line voltage are going to increase or line to neutral also is going to be increased. For example, rather than 11 kV by root 3. If you increase to 33 kV by root 3. If you increase voltage, automatically current is going to be reduced. If you increase voltage here, current is going to be reduced here. Obviously, you know the flow. Current is flowing through here and voltage you are taking somewhere else. Now, if you consider if you consider voltage here only because voltage current voltage current now the moment current is reduced automatically voltage across this particular transmission line will be reduced you understand my point right so voltage if you increase here here current is reduced how can you interlink these two with ohm's law ohm's law means that across the element voltage should be there and through the element uh, current should be there Current should be there. Now you are, uh, may say your interviewer is confusing you, saying like current is in this direction, voltage is somewhere. No, if current is in this direction, voltage across that transmission line should be taken that way. If current is reduced, voltage will be reduced. So, V is directly proportional to I is valid for our transmission line also. Okay, and we will meet in next session. Beautiful sessions we are going to conduct. Kindly subscribe, like and uh, share this content because it will be motivating for me thank you guys thank you very much